Point Locus is a wearable tactile GPS system for the visually impaired. It gives users directions through vibration, guiding them turn by turn to their destination. Anyone who has partial, limited, or no vision has difficulty mentally picturing where in space they need to go, or they are unable to read street signs and maps because these wayfinding tools are strictly visual. Anytime they travel long distances or to places they aren't familiar with, they have very little independence because of this problem. They rely on people with vision to guide them around and on direct routes of transit like buses and taxis, which are very costly and aren't always available. Our system is good in that it can cater to a range of people with visual impairment. The biggest challenge that we have seen from our interviewees is that they have a huge learning curve they need to overcome. They need to find new ways to go about their daily lives, such as putting their makeup on or pouring tea into a cup or even going to the grocery store. So any way we can minimize or ease their transition phase into their medical condition is already a huge advantage. Although our system exists in one form, it is excellent in that it can still cater to the visual impairment that is unique to that user. For instance, some gradually lose their vision from birth or later in life. With the gradual loss, they have more time to emotionally adjust to, to their condition. In the worst case scenario, some may lose it in a very short period of time later on in their life. Others have central vision with partial peripheral or no central and no peripheral at all. Regardless of their emotional state or degree of impairment, our system can potentially lend our users a hand in reducing or minimizing the learning curve of adapting to their new medical condition. Essentially, we're not proposing a solution to their sight loss, we just want to give them the opportunity to navigate independently. Well, yeah, I usually, when I go to unfamiliar places, do you have a friend with me? If I had something to make me more independent, then I guess I could do more things. Like, if I wanted to do something just out of the blue, then I can just go and do it myself. Like, it just makes it more convenient if I'm, like, on my own schedule as opposed to depending on people. Because, I mean, if I go with somebody, then I have to sort of wait on them. If it was, like, mandatory that I go with, like, a doctor's appointment or something like that, then, you know, obviously I'd have to, you know, call around and see if someone could take me. If not, maybe call a cab or something. The system is built into a slim, flexible vest. It's all one piece, attached by adjustable Velcro strips. It's easy to find, difficult to lose. Electronics that power the system are inside the front of the vest, in this pouch. It includes a GPS receiver module that tracks position, direction, and speed. It also has a voice recognition device that allows users to tell the system where they want to go, and an Arduino microcontroller that has a program to control the circuits that work the vibrating pager motors, which provide the tactile feedback. The vibrators are located on the user's triceps and follow their own language. When a user needs to change his or her direction, the closest one to that direction will vibrate. The user then stops and rotates that way until they're facing the right direction. At that point, both will vibrate, and this is a signal to move forward. The signal is also used every 20 seconds as a reassurance that the user is still going on the right way. Um, I, I think it's a valuable uh, tool. It's pretty intuitive, I think. Right, turning left and then getting the, the feedback that you're going in the right direction. Those are all pretty straightforward and basic. Mm -hmm. we I mean, it's, it's nice for the tactile because like if you're trying to listen to the voice or something and it's too noisy outside, you can't hear it. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the tactile, the ambient noise doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. It can complement it because if you can program where you need to go. I mean, our dogs, you know, they turn left and right when we tell them to, but we can't give them, you know, an address or a destination. Mm -hmm. so, so this would be pinpointing the route. Um, after we've gone several streets, that this is the one you're going to turn right at. 
so we don't have to ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that uh, makes us more independent, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. And, and I guess I think it's got great potential. Yes. Um, like, don't need I think it's a really cool idea. You know, it really enhances using a guide, using a guide dog. dog. Like they'll stop um, when you get to the stairs. Uh, yeah, so I really liked the stair thing, going beep, 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 and the way Stephanie did it to show you that you were coming up to stairs. So that was really neat. Yes, and I think it was clean. I liked it better than the other on yeah, the yeah, hip, yeah. I think this was clean and simple so and easy to understand. Mm -hmm. It was very easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah, went right. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, uh, kind of an intuitive, and clean and simple. simple. Yeah. I, I like I like the little um, everything going okay. The little interval. Yes, I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes you relax when you're walking yes. because yes. you're so in tune. You know, focusing on everything. It's kind of nice to get a little. And I like. I like it's okay. You're right on schedule. Yeah. I like it better that it's not audio because for my hearing, I don't have to be trying so hard to hear something. I can walk comfortably and I feel something. I can react to it. So if there's a bus or any background noise, it doesn't matter. So you can relax and continue on. So I, I agree with that too. That's a great feature because I have to, like I don't walk with anything in my ears. So I can you know, focus on something. Yeah, so it's confusing trying to... And for so often, I think, to going, what you said is so, so you have to really like listen so hard all the time mm -hmm. yeah. just like to know what's on to interpret your environment. So feeling that beep every now and then, it's completely yes. relaxing. Because you kind of go, oh, yeah. good, I don't have to listen so hard yeah. for a sec, yeah. The actual language of it is pretty straightforward, like the stairs and the destination part of it are pretty easy to differentiate, but the turning ones I probably would need more practice in order to understand it more. Um, but other than that, everything seems to be pretty, pretty straightforward. The triceps are, are a good place for the actual uh, apparatus because if it was somewhere else, like say a person's legs, it might be harder to, to notice which side it's coming from. I think something like this would be useful for me um, because using the vibration, it is helpful to indicate like stairs or there's a turn and that sort of thing. So I mean, it, it would be helpful for me to use. I think that this would make me somewhat more independent because it would at least give me something extra to go on. Um, with the vibrations, at least it would indicate something as opposed to nothing. So I mean, it would sort of further my independence.